Okay guys, welcome back to another episode of Getting Healthy Now, my new little YouTube channel that I started to kind of share some of uh, my recipes and things, how I got healthy and how I continue to get healthy. But today, uh, I just got back from the grocery and I just wanted to share everybody what, what I got. Uh, I guess we could call this like a, a grocery haul. These are the things that I pick up every week, most of the time every week. Some of it lasts me a little bit longer than that, but uh, for the most part, this is what I will purchase each week i never know what i'm going to make out of the, what i've got at least it's here and it's available to me but i'm just going to kind of go through what what i like to keep in my refrigerator uh on a weekly basis uh number one thing is my greens my baby greens here uh baby spring mix this is this has got a lot of the uh, medicine quality um type benefits uh that i'm looking for uh when i'm trying to Put together my diet what i'm going to eat the onions are always a good good um, way to cook it does a lot of flavor and uses a lot of flavors um, i'm gonna go ahead and just put this stuff up while i'm going in your refrigerator i will let you know buying and, and eating clean like this your refrigerator is going to be cram packed all the time you're going to lose stuff but I mean, it's just what it is. It's, it's bulky, but it's the best stuff for you. It's the medicine you need, uh, the natural medicines and, and things you need to, to help you combat some disease and, and other things. Uh, next thing on my list is uh, a green squash, zucchini squash. Uh, next thing, I got my desserts. These are uh, pears. I like to, to eat my pears. If you need some sugar, that's the next best thing is the natural sugar. Uh, the cauliflower. Uh, I cook that and I steam that a lot of times with, with uh, my broccoli. Uh, garlic. I got real peeled garlic. Gar the real garlic is always better in your foods and there's some real benefit, health benefits with garlic too. But. And next, we have always got to have this in the refrigerator broccoli broccoli's got a lot of a lot of good stuff in it as well uh, what's next eggs i like to keep eggs around we i like to keep boiled eggs around actually uh, they're good for you quick quick snack protein uh, you get your protein you don't want to eat too much of this green you want to eat a lot of greens but you don't want to just eat nothing but greens uh, you want some proteins in there as well and like I say, we'll boil eggs, we'll boil a whole carton of eggs and it'll last us all week. You can eat it raw just like that or you can cut it up in a salad. Or you can grab one for breakfast. Uh, and next thing is good for seasoning is the green pepper. And I've got some red pepper around here too as well. I like the red pepper. It seasons uh, when I do my Mexican type dishes. Uh, they they work good with onions and uh, all right, I'm gonna cook the egg up. Get them out of my way. Alright, what's next? Alright, mushrooms. Mushrooms is a really good staple to have in your refrigerator all the time. There's so many things you can do with the mushrooms and they're filling beneficial and there's no calories to them so mushrooms are great um, avocados avocados are awesome too just eat by themselves cut them up in a salad uh, you kind of got to wait till they're soft though An avocado is hard is no good at all i like a soft avocado sometimes you got to set it out and let it turn a little bit brown but be careful because they brown very quickly and the next thing you know you got a rotten avocado instead of a ripe avocado um, no. There we go. A lot of protein guys that I'm going to be eating. I eat a lot of chicken. Um, you know, some of the, the dishes I, I fix is, is only really side dishes. Like the, the cabbage dishes and, and the kale dishes and stuff. But you can also make that a, a full meal as well. But chicken as well. What else have I got? All right, we have uh, a few salads, but these are Lisa's salads. I, 
I used to eat these, but I, I got to where it's just lettuce in there. And I like that spring mix because it has the, the arugula and the beets and the spinach. It's got a little bit of everything in it to give you all the nutrients and, and what I call medicine, the, the beneficial secret medicine within that's hidden within our vegetables. But Lisa likes these. So uh, she gets them, they're nice and quick. I'm just at the point right now to where I just want everything fresh. I don't want nobody to touch nothing. I just, I want to touch it myself. I want to cook it myself. Uh, it's just the way it is. All right, next on our list. I really like these. These are good sauteed in some butter. Uh, asparagus, got a lot of good benefits to that. I think it's cleans your kidneys and, and uh, other good things. All right, what else we got? Coffee filters don't count. You can't eat coffee filters. But I guess you can make some good coffee with it. Another chicken, like I say, I eat a lot of chicken with proteins, guys, but this is shaved chicken and it's got some uh, buffalo style seasoning in it. So I can mix this with my peppers and onions uh, and a few other things and, and make a, an awesome meal with that. So another, another thing of chicken. I didn't buy them today because I had a bunch of them, but lemons, guys, you gotta keep a lot of lemons on hand as well. They're very, very good for helping you lose weight. And they're good to cook with. All right. Now me doing this video, I don't think um, Lisa minded me doing this video in the first place because I just, Put everything up. She got out of that little chore. <laughs> Again, that's something for Lisa. And, and uh, uh, this is some of the stuff we've tried too. Some red wine vinaigrette. This is for the salads. These are going to be the least calorie absorbent um, type dressings you can use on your salads. All right. What's up next? All right, I got some different type of onions. These are some bigger onions. I, I like I like those onions when I put them in a, a salad. And we have uh, some uh, summer squash, yellow squash. These are some great, great uh, eating. You saute them, you can fry them in olive oil, you can bake them. Uh, just really flavorful and beneficial. Has some, some great benefits and nutrients to it as well. Also low calories. Everything here, guys, are gonna be low calories. Uh, another thing that I'm just discovering through my research, uh, I kind of run across an article and said that the kiwis, kiwis are really beneficial and has uh, lots of antioxidants that help fight disease. So I have definitely put kiwis in, in, my, uh, in my diet. And I, I watched a video, I read something somewhere where if you eat a kiwi, uh, kind of before bedtime, it kind of helps you sleep as well. So I have tested that theory and it is, it's worked so far, but I may have been tired as well too. So we'll, we'll continue our research. Uh, what else we got? All right. Now I do use some of this stuff in my cooking guys. Like I say, when I cook, I want stuff to, to taste good. So I do use some different stuff. I know this is, um, not too bad on calories. It's 50, 50 grams of calories. And you don't eat a lot of it anyway. You're just kind of putting it on top of something to make something add some extra flavor. Uh, so that is the uh, roasted pepper uh, whipped Philadelphia cream cheese. And let's see, I got some more protein, which I've got pork burger and just some pork loins. And we'll, we'll cook some good vegetables with them as well. And uh, I've got my uh, yogurt which is good with probiotics for the gut and all that. And uh, another thing we use to cook with and flavor with is sausage. So uh, we're almost done with my grocery haul here. We've got a lot of stuff going on, but this is gonna last quite a long time. Uh, let's see what else, let's put the, the meat in the refrigerator.
All right, another vital piece of uh, raw, great food uh, that has a lot of vitamins and stuff in it is kale. Kale is really good. Now, you can eat kale either raw by itself in a salad, or you can cook it up with a ham hock, or you can cook it up with uh, what I'm gonna use, and I'll show you this. What I'm gonna use is uh, some smoked turkey leg or something to put in it to flavor, uh, to flavor of kale. Kale's got a pretty guy, nice, smooth, almost nutty flavor. And like I say, you'll get used to all this, guys. You'll get used to the, the change in your taste buds and, and all that. All right, what else we got? How we got? Here's my smoked turkey stuff that I'm gonna get so that we can cook our kale and flavor it. And let's see here. Another part of our protein, which we'll, we'll, I like to use these, and I'm gonna most likely make some stuffed mushrooms with these, with this um, ground turkey breast. It's really good any way you cook it, really. And of course, I got the mushrooms for our uh, stuffings. We got that. All right, I got more. More of these kiwis. And what else? That pretty much sums it up except for one more thing that I get and I eat this a lot for lunch and I eat them also for snacks as well is uh, my sardines. I'll make sure I got plenty of them on hand. These are the things that gives me my omega one threes or the good, good oils that are supposed to help clean arteries and um, you know, other beneficial um, side effects as well uh, when, when eating. So that's it guys. This is my little refrigerator haul. This is what I'm going to be cooking out of or kicking cooking with for the next week. Um, and you'll see quite a few of these recipes go into effect. I'm going to cook something tonight as I do have to cook. But also I'm going to cook a few things pre- pre-cook some things I guess so for the week like the kale we can cook the kale up and it's going to last for two or three days so we can eat it for a side we can eat it by itself and so it'll, it'll last two or three days the eating clean is a little bit expensive but you learn to um, keep extra and what I mean by extra is look at this I, I did cook something the other night and I'll show you If you don't use it all, put it right back in a baggie. It stays fresh. And uh, this is probably what I'm gonna cook tonight. Whatever I need to, to add to it meat-wise, we'll cook this, something here. Um, but we're gonna use this over somehow so we save money, so we're saving. Uh, we're not just blowing all that. Um, so we're not blowing money on, on expensive food. We wanna make sure the money we spend goes into our bodies and does the healing stuff that it needs to do for the money we spend. And the way I kind of look at it, we can spend it now and get healthy and be happy and live, or we can give it to the insurance guy when we have a heart attack and or, or whatever else. So, all right, guys, there's my grocery haul right there. This is what we're going to consume over the next week or so. This is my thinking, guys. I hope this might help some of y'all as far as what you get to grocery shop. Uh, I'm still, like I say, winging this thing. Uh, I'm gonna take all this food. I know this food has got everything in it that I need. I'm gonna take this food and have to think about how am I gonna cook it. Um, I'm not a chef, don't claim to be a chef, but I can get by and I can cook stuff that tastes good enough for me to eat, lose weight, and get healthy. So that's my most important thing. I'm not trying to outdo anybody's recipes. I have watched some recipes on YouTube and got some ideas for some stuff. So there's there's where we're at. We, I want to make my food taste good. Um, there is some foods that I just do not take in a lot of anymore, like bread and milk and things like that. But I will cook with the stuff to make the stuff taste good. So anyway, that's my grocery haul for today, guys. Hope you enjoyed it. Hope you got some benefit out of it. If you haven't subscribed. Hit the subscribe button and you got to hit that little bell beside there too to get notifications when I do uh, send some things out. But until then, my friends, stay healthy.